Hey YouTube, just wanted to make a video here about the 36 volt Ogrefi lithium battery conversion that a lot of people have been thinking about doing. I've seen a lot of people are on the fence about it. What battery to charge? What battery to choose? You know, there's so many online on eBay and Amazon. So I just wanted to go over. I chose the the Ogrefi battery. Uh, the 36 volts 100 amp hour a lot of people are against it they say they're no good they don't like them but uh, this is my take on it here I have a 2007 easy go TXT and the <clears throat> the process of installing the battery was ex extremely easy so I just wanted to make a, a video here kind of show you what I've done let me take the seat off for you Okay, so with the seat off now, you can clearly see here is the, here's the Ogrefi battery. It's extremely light. It only weighs 63 pounds. The six, six volt lead acid batteries that I took out of here, uh, I put them on the scale as I was removing them and they weighed 53 pounds each. So <clears throat> I think all together that was 300 and 18 pounds that I took out of the golf cart. I put this Ogrefi 36 volt battery in, which weighs 63 pounds. So we're at a, a savings of 255 pounds, which does make a difference on your golf cart. I think I've gained about one, maybe probably two miles an hour. You know, it doesn't struggle as much uphill. The battery life is incredible. We can ride for miles and miles through all the neighborhoods and when we return home it's the battery percentage is about 84 percent so it has plenty more to go and i just kind of wanted to show you everybody if they're on the fence if they uh wanted to install this battery themselves with this model golf cart how how really simple it is okay so here we are on the other side uh, i guess what you see here this is your main positive that went to your your other batteries here's your main negative so positive and negative obviously go to the positive and negative terminals here very simple and I think what a lot of people don't realize either I see a lot of questions online about it is this red wire this is the red wire that came from the charging port over there it's uh, kind of like a, a small, like a switch in there, so you're unable to drive the golf cart while it is charging. So what you want to do is cut that red wire a little shorter, and just you wire that directly to the positive here. You just crimp a little end on it <clears throat> and put it right underneath of the positive side, and that lets the <clears throat> the controller here know that it's getting 36 volts. Uh, other than that, here is my it's kind of a mess there's the 36 to 12 volt inverter converter and those wires come right here here's the blue for the negative side here's the red for the positive side so pretty much just three wires each on each side it's, ex it's extremely easy to wire in it comes with the charger of course here is the onboard charger that they give you <clears throat> and yeah when I installed the battery if you have an easy go like this they have it has a center support in the uh, in the middle it has a center support for your old uh, six volt batteries there's three on the back three in the front so I took a cutoff wheel on my grinder and just I just cut that center support out it's, it's pretty easy it comes out quick and in place of the center, that center support, you're gonna need to get yourself some angle iron. Like I had some of this just laying around. And you can, yeah, you can buy some, probably some aluminum channel, some, some aluminum angle from Lowe's or Home Depot. But uh, yeah, this here worked just fine. You can also use an old bed frame. Bed frames 
are, you know, the brown bed frames are a, a good source of, uh, I mean, pretty strong metal, a good angle iron that you could use to uh, kind of bolt in. I'll show you that. Yeah, so here we are back at the golf course. Kind of, kind of hard to see, but this is the angle iron. Once you get the center support cut out, you can use your, your bed frame, angle iron, your aluminum channel, whatever you want. And as you can see down here, oh, it's tough to see. I just bolted mine in place. I drilled a hole straight through my angle iron, straight through the battery frame, the battery tray there, and just put two 5 16 bolts on each side. <clears throat> yeah, I've run a strap over the top of it, which you can also, it comes with these ropes here, like for the handles, so you can pick it up and carry it around. But just put a couple zip ties through through the hole in the frame here. You know, that's it's pretty easy. That helps kind of hold it in place a little bit. But you will need to strap it down. Back here for the onboard charger, this is the same thing. I used some more of my uh, that angle iron that I had. And just, since this is pretty light I went ahead and just ran some uh, some 516 oh, 516s head some self tapping screws to uh, kind of secure this angle here so I can mount the the onboard charger and as far as the the charger goes here's your this just wires directly to Here's your clip here. These wires here just run up to your positive and negative on top of the battery. That's for like a quick disconnect right here. They provide zip tied the wires there that go <clears throat> to the output of the charger. Here's the input side. It's kind of like a computer cable. It's connected here. I have the wires just zip tied here to the frame and to <clears throat> make the charging port I'll show you what I did now here is the box for the charging port uh, maybe you can see that or pause it it's a a Bumbee B-U-M-B-E-E -E brand <clears throat> it's just a 15 amp AC port plug that I used here is a item number that you can possibly see and I will show you what that does here it's really simple it's just kind of like a pass-through plug that you're going to connect your charger like AC plug into and with a little bit of work from your Dremel tool it actually fits perfectly right here in the old D style plug that came with so many of these golf carts but uh, yeah the hole was already here so I got the Dremel tool out with a kind of like a, a material removal bit on it and just took away some material you don't have to take out too much and this plug goes right in there kind of like a weatherproof plug that actually I mean it actually looks really good and you could just put your uh, weatherproof plug back in there you go doesn't look bad at all but that being said if you're on the fence uh, a lot of people re recommend the eco battery and there's so many other high-end ones they a lot of people don't recommend the uh, the plastic shell on these batteries for some odd reason <clears throat> the technology has changed a little bit I think the, the fire risk is extremely slow I mean extremely low with the uh, the life po batteries now so yeah, if you're on the fence, I wouldn't hesitate. Get the get get you the Ogrefy battery if, if you've been looking at it. I bought it a week before the Prime Day deals, and I mean the, the company is fantastic. They stay with you every step of the way through delivery. And I bought it before the Prime Day a couple weeks ago, and I emailed the company and said, "Hey man, it's like I bought this battery, it was just delivered, and now the price is reduced." So they sent me a $40 credit for the price difference. You know, that's, a, that's standing behind your product, standing behind your prices. It's a great company. I haven't had to contact them in relation to the battery yet. I haven't had any problems, which is great. But uh, 
<clears throat> in regards to any kind of problem with the batteries, a lot of people say that they, they email you, they get back to you right away, which is great for tech support if you have any, uh, any questions or anything. So, yeah, that being said, I think that's about it. I don't have anything else to add. Yeah, you're going to do the lithium conversion? Go for it. It's super simple. It saves weight, increases your mile per hour. Just go ahead and do it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks.